A full agreement on the Johor Singapore Special Economic Zone will be signed in September, nine months after Malaysia and Singapore inked an initial MOU. Oh, this was confirmed by Malaysia's Economic Affairs Minister on the sidelines of the World Economic Forum in Tallinn in China. Rafizi Ramli also revealed that Malaysia is developing a 1,000-megawatt solar farm to supply green energy to businesses there. Charlotte Lim tells us more. A move to reaffirm the long-standing ties and joint commitment by both countries to strengthen economic cooperation. The Johor Singapore Special Economic Zone aims to strengthen economic cooperation between both sides of the causeway. It will improve cross-border goods flow for businesses and aid in the exchange of knowledge and expertise. But Malaysian Economic Affairs Minister Rafizi Ramli says the SEZ will only be attractive to businesses and global investors if green energy is available. Malaysia has done the legwork to ensure uh, that the capacity is installed. Um, the 1,000 megawatt uh, uh, solar farm are being um, uh, developed in Johor as we speak. It should come on stream most probably uh, two and a half years down the line. Um, we also have floating solar um, at other parts of, of, of Malaysia. So there will be a, a big jump of available green energy. So, so that component is done. So I think while that will progress towards the signing in September and both governments have identified the area, none of that will matter if we can convince international investors in those areas to come in. To that end, Mr Rafizi said he has had around 100 meetings on SEZ recently with potential China businesses and investors. He said they are hopeful the zone will help them carve out new consumer markets. So I'm working in parallel now that while we put the governance and uh, the agreement in place, we also sign up early takers uh, to move to, to and take advantage of this offering. And one of the obvious um, players uh, to come to the special economic zone um, is the Chinese businesses. They are looking for internationalization and they are looking to uh, cultivate a new consumer market to buffer up the, their own uh, domestic uh, market. With Malaysia taking ASEAN Championship in 2025, Mr Rafizi said the SEZ will be one of its flagship focus. He said it will be a test bit to demonstrate to the rest of the region the benefits closer integration will bring to members. I think we can bring everyone to the table and with focus on further economic uh, integration, um, exemplify, for example, the value proposition that Johor Singapore Special Economic Zone can bring to the region. Um, and with uh, ASEAN grid integration as, as a key focus uh, throughout our ASEAN chairmanship, and I think then it will move closer to an acceptable framework. He said once that framework is done, the dollars and cents and the value proposition that is equitable to all ASEAN members will be clear.